Hey guys, we have an iPhone 6S Plus board in here with a very common backlight issue. This is uh, an easy repair for those getting into micro soldering. This is the type of repair that I started out with when I was first doing these kinds of jobs. We have the board here, we have a screen assembly. I'm gonna switch to the overhead view. We're gonna get this uh, phone fired up. So I'll connect the screen and the charge port flex and power. And I'm just gonna show you exactly what the problem is. Waiting for our Apple logo. Our Apple logo. So Apple logo, the device uh, should turn on normally. All right, here. So on this white screen, you can see that the shadow on the top left it's permanently there. So the full backlight is not working and it is not a screen issue. It is a board issue. So I'm gonna show you how to quickly and efficiently solve that problem. So this is the display connector. So if we know that the screen's not the issue, the next thing to check is the display connector. The connector itself looks very, very healthy. So the next thing is going to be using something called diode mode on our multimeter, and we're going to check the backlight pins. I have red probe on ground on the SIM tray, and we're gonna measure these six points. Okay, right. so good, 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 and open line. All these values are good except pin five. So the next thing to check is at this filter, FL4291. We're gonna measure if we're getting a diode mode value correct on this end and not on this end, and that will tell us that the filter is the problem. So this is our filter right here. Let's take a measurement. So we still get that open line on this end, uh, but we get the correct value on that end. That does confirm that this filter is blown, and all we need to do is replace the filter. So we've removed the blown filter. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna tin both those pads. Looks good. Go ahead and pull a filter. Any of these should be fine. Filter. Nice. It's good. We should get our correct value. And we do quick clean. Hook up our screen assembly, charge port flex. And battery, and fire it up. Going to make sure that the backlight problem is resolved. All right, so as you can see, the backlight issue is resolved. Uh, the phone is repaired, and we were able to use diode mode to test the connector, find an open line reading on pin five, I, I believe it was, and then verified a blown filter. We replace the filter and the phone is back to normal operations. I hope you learned something in today's video. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.